You know, it's so interesting. I'm wearing a green shirt, and the country I was rooting for today has green on their flag. So, after a very boring Portugal versus France game in the Euro 2024, this was the conclusion. Oh. My. God. Yep. France won on penalties 5-3. And that means Portugal are out of the Euros. And that means Cristiano Ronaldo's last tournament has come to an end for him. Now, to me, Cristiano means a lot of things. He's one of the reasons I loved the game growing up. And, in fact, I'm going to tell you guys a bit of a personal story. I had a bit of an unfriendly bias towards football many times during my life because I did not like playing the sport but then I kept on coming back to the idea well you don't have to enjoy this sport just by playing it you can just enjoy it by watching it which is what I've been doing for like over 10 years now maybe even longer and you know whenever I would watch La Liga I would watch Messi and Ronaldo turn turn it up in their respective leagues. I would watch their 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 partners turn it up. You know, like Neymar, Suarez, uh, and that's just for Barcelona. Like Xavi, you know, people like that. I would always love watching them. And what about Madrid? You know, not not only did you have Ronaldo, but you also had you know Modric. You have Gareth Bale. You have Karim Benzema. You know, you have a lot of these players that I loved watching growing up, and but at, but at the core center of everything was Messi and Ronaldo. And now it's strange that we're witnessing their final tournaments, you know. Messi will probably be on the verge of retirement after Copa America. And now Ronaldo is after this year's Euros. So I just want to take this moment right now to just thank Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, for everything he's done for the game, for everything he's done for the lives of millions. And I know I don't consider him as my number one player of all time, but he's a solid number two. And it's and it beats being a number two than a number three, in my opinion, at least. I know there's a lot of uh, hatred towards the man because, you know, he doesn't perform like he used to. And we get so caught up in this GOAT debate. And, you know, we keep saying the man is washed. You probably didn't see him in his prime, did you? But I did, and I'm so happy I did because I will never ever hate this man for what he's done for the beautiful game. And I just wish, you know, I could watch him play again. You know, I, I, I'm so thankful. I got to watch one of his uh, last uh, World Cup matches against Switzerland. I don't, I, I don't care uh, that he was on the bench for the, for the majority of the game. Us fans, we were going crazy for him, even when he didn't come on. And when he finally did... We were electric. Yeah, let's just say there's a soft spot in my heart for Ronaldo. And no matter what, always, he's not the GOAT. Okay, okay, I, I know that's a, that, 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 that's a cruel way to end the video. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, thank you, Ronaldo, for everything. And I know there might be some salty fans out there, but to all those salty fans, get a life. Grow up. This is, this is reality, okay? The people retire. And this man is one of them. And the most we can do now is just thank him for everything he's done. So, Ronaldo, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And now, I'm going to do something I don't usually do much on this channel. I do it every day of my life, but not on this channel. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to do something that is only right for this occasion. Sir!